Hi there, this is Stuart from Brantford Cycle Path. Today we're going to show you how to install and reinstall a spring on a specialized FutureShock 1.5 suspension that shows up on uh, Cirrus and the Verge bicycles. The tools you'll need, four millimeter Allen key. We have on this tool also four millimeter, five and six millimeter Allen key. It's one of our favorites in the shop. This is a torque wrench. This is set to 6.2 newton meters or 55 inch pounds. If you don't have one of these, it's not the end of the world, uh, but uh, anyone with a uh, upper end bicycle, especially carbon fiber, not a bad idea to get one of these. And last is a 20 millimeter wrench. If you don't have a 20 millimeter wrench and this is not a particularly common size, you can always use an adjustable wrench. But uh, for the sake of the shop use, we're gonna use our 20 millimeter wrench. First step is to loosen your stem. Four millimeter Allen key or hex wrench, just loosen. If you don't have a torque wrench, your shop that you bought your bike from will probably have set this up with the correct torque specifications. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna loosen each one of these 360 degrees so that you know where you are at. I think I'm going to go another 180 degrees on each bolt. So this will be a turn and a half. Once that is loose, the stem now is free to move. And this is important because we have this top cap. Without loosening the stem, the top cap is this uh, butted piece. You need to be able to turn. Once you've got that loose, we can turn. I've seen some videos on the internet where they use a pair of pliers on this part and they make it uh, damage all the finish. We don't want to damage the finish. We want it to look nice at the end of this job. So turn it. Once it feels loose, you can just give it a pull. This piece is just a thin screw and a little O-ring, which is why it was just a little bit hard to pull. This is just essentially a cosmetic cap covering all this stuff underneath. So next part, we're gonna pop the stem off. Lay it very carefully over the bike. We don't wanna do any damage. This also, this particular version of Future Shock also has this shim, which allows uh, us to, uh, to bridge the dot size difference in the different stems that go on these bikes. I'm not gonna lose that. So now we've got the top of the cap. This is where our 20 millimeter, 20 millimeter wrench comes in. I'm gonna put my hand on the wheel just to keep everything nice and uh, solid and give that a little turn. This particular bolt doesn't have to be torqued down particularly tight, but tight enough. Underneath, you'll see a spring. Blue for lightweight riders, black for average weight riders and the firm spring for in yellow for the firm riders. Usually we see the black spring the most for again, most average weight people. We've had some people who do feel they want the firmer spring or they want the, the lighter spring. Um, this is a customization that is of course easy to do and is part of your system. Okay, we're going to reinsert the black spring back in the bicycle. So next we'll put the cap back on top. Just be sure to make sure that the groove of the spring and lines in with the cap. Place and just lightly thread down, putting just a little bit pressure downwards so the spring, the uh, uh, threads catch. You should be able to do this by hand. If you need a tool to do this part, you're probably going to be cross threading it please don't do that. This is not an easy part to find as a replacement. And then last, I'm gonna grab the wheel just to stabilize the bike. And I'm just gonna tighten the top cap. Doesn't have to be super tight. Uh, you shouldn't be marring all the edges with the, with the wrench. There really isn't that much torque required, just firm enough. Next, we're gonna put our spacer back in. We grab our handlebars. We're going to 
put our cap back on. Again, this should be done by hand, no tools required. Putting just a little bit of pressure downwards to make sure that that O-ring grabs and the threads lock in. Tight in place. We want to straighten the bars. When straightening bars, you usually want to look over the top of the bicycle and try to line the center of the stem through the center of the top cap. And nice and straight. And tighten your bolts. Now in this case, I am using our 5.1 torque wrench. Just going to do both bolts lightly. And with a torque wrench, I can go and hear the click. That means the, the bolt is tight to proper torque settings. If you don't have this wrench, if you've loosened it using the method of counting turns, so in this point, this case, we did a turn and a half. If you turn it back the same amount, it should be about accurate. And that is how we install a spring on a FutureShock 1.5.